Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today, I'm gonna cook beef short ribs from Crowd Cow, and we're gonna cook them medium rare, sous vide, and then we're gonna put them on the barbecue. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, I got these um, short ribs, beef short ribs from Crowd Cow, my last order from them. And they come from a farm up in Virginia. These aren't grass fed. I don't particularly care for grass fed uh, beef, so, but they are pasture raised from a local farm up in Virginia. So I got two racks of these nice looking beef short ribs, and we're gonna see these, like I said. I'm gonna do 134 because on my um, tri tips, beef ribs, briskets. If I'm gonna cook a medium rare, I like to cook them a little bit higher than 131 to let some of that fat render down. So I am gonna cook these a little bit hotter at 134, but we are gonna do 48 hours on these because I want these nice and tender. So when I put them on the grill to get some smoke, all we're doing is getting some smoke. They're already done, tender, ready to go. So let me get these out of the bag, out of the packages, and we're gonna season them up and I'll be right back. All right, all I got them out of the bag and it looks like they're not they haven't removed the um, the um, membrane here on the back of one and actually the one on one of these on the front has a good amount of silver skin so i'm going to have to go ahead and try to trim a lot of this off because it's nothing worse than some chewy silver skin on uh, on your ribs so i'm going to go ahead and take some time trim these up a little bit wasn't expecting that but um, then again you know these are directly from the farm so not a whole lot of processing goes into them so I'm gonna go ahead trim these up a little bit then we'll be back putting some uh, seasoning on all right all it didn't take very long it um, just had some silver skin on the front here and on the back I kind of took off the, uh, the membrane that was left on there so they look pretty decent I was gonna say this one is a little bit thicker than the other but you know, they, we buy them by the pound, so hopefully in the end they'll all turn out about the same. I'm going to go ahead and season this up. I'm going to wash my hands first. I'm going to keep one clean hand for the seasoning. And I'm using the uh, Fresh Jack's Keto Chop House. It's, um, I guess it's more designed for steaks, but I'm going to use it today on these beef ribs and see how it does. Has got a lot of good... Uh, Good flavor profiles in there garlic onion pepper salt everything's organic and natural with um, fresh jacks and I'm just gonna put a good coating on both sides give it a nice nice dusting we're gonna put them in the bag and sous vide them when I finish them here I'm going to fish them on this side because I want that side to be the one that's going to have all, all, most of the seasoning. All right, so I'm going to put them in the bag. We're going to seal them up and then we're going to sous vide them at 134 for 48 hours. So I'll see you in two days. <music> All right, all, I got them out of the sous vide. They're still in the bag and they're looking pretty good. There's a lot of juice in both of these bags. So I am gonna make a nice sauce to go with these. Um, I'm gonna use some red wine, some onion, some other seasonings, and probably put a little bit of, a little bit more beef stock in there as well. But I'm gonna get these out of the bag, put the juices in a pan. Then we're gonna stick these out on the Kamado Joe, get some smoke. To them get them nice and uh, nice and smoky and a nice uh, bark on them so I'll be right back 
almost forgot guys, I'm going to actually put these in, uh, I'm going to chill these in a, in a bath, water bath, in a cold water bath. I'm not going to do a, a ice bath. I don't need them to get all the way down to uh, 50 degrees. I'm just going to actually put them in just some nice cold water in the sink just to drop the internal temperature down under 100 degrees. So get it down to like the 70 or 80 degree mark. And all that's to do is so, just to make it so that I can have a little bit more time out on the smoker without raising the internal temperature much at all. So I'll let them stay in there for about 10 minutes or so. Then we'll get them back out on the smoker. I'll be back. All right, all I got them out of the bag. I got my sauce going and the sauce is pretty easy. Sorry I didn't get it on film, but it's really, I got about a quarter cup out of the bag of juices. Now I put another about a cup and a half of beef stock, half a cup of red wine, about uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and I, it's about two tablespoons of dehydrated onion. I put some more of the uh, keto chop house seasoning in there, and then we use, um, we're gonna use a little bit of a uh, cornstarch slurry once this gets boiled down a little bit, and then we're gonna thicken it up with that. So let me go ahead, I'm not going to pat these dry or anything because I want the smoke to kind of stick to them and develop a, some kind of little bark on here, so I'm not searing them. But I am going to put just a little bit more of this um, Fresh Jack's Keto Chop House seasoning on there. Not a ton because it's already been cooking in there. But just enough to kind of give it a nice coverage of uh, any that may have came off in the purge in the bag. And I think that's enough. They smell really good. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them on the Kamado Joe, and then we're gonna cook them about 45 minutes to an hour, and that'll give us time to get everything else ready to go. I'll be right back. delicious they smell amazing if you can see just got a little little bit of juice coming out the top here they are still about medium if you can see that I want to show you what they're looking like there internally yeah they smell delicious Yeah, tender. Mm mm mm. Melt like butter. Really, really good. Very juicy and tender. Not tough at all. Even the uh, little bit of um, sinew connective tissue right here from where it's connected to the bones on here. I'm chewing right through that. Check it out, guys. Try these short ribs from Crowd Cow. They actually turned out a little better than I thought they were. They kind of look kind of janky when I got them. They did have that silver skin on there and this rack is a little bit smaller than the other but they actually taste really good. But check them out. Check out Crowd Cow in the description down below. Check out the sauce. Ooh, I'm gonna do the sauce. I kind of want to show you. I just put two teaspoons of um, of uh, Cornstarch with two teaspoons, a little bit, uh, a little bit more than two teaspoons of water, and thicken that up, and it's coating the spoon just fine. So I'm gonna put that on there, give that a taste as well, since that's what we're gonna be serving it with. Fantastic. With the kick of the onion, a little bit of Worcestershire. Mmm, man. Check it out guys, check out these uh, short ribs. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow us on our Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.